It's a little bit soggy out this morning, and I don't know if you can tell, but my voice still isn't all there again. <laughs> But it's getting better. It's just like, it's just hanging on to the last little bit of miserability. It's gonna be a good day, except it's gonna take several hours for the beans to dry. They're gonna need that sun to finish coming through to dry everything out. Now you two, wrestle. One of the first things I'm gonna pick away at this morning before anybody else is here is mounting this extra screen, second screen, into the strip tiller. The strip tiller is hiding way back there in the new shed, as you can see. We've got the doors wide open on the new shed right now. For those that didn't catch it, it sounds like this new shed is supposed to be started November 1st, so early November. Hopefully there's a lot of action going on here. I'm gonna make sure to show you guys all of that. It's gonna be really nice to get that buttoned up and be able to stack this thing completely full of everything that's been sitting in the yard for the last six months. In three days? Two days, three days, something like that. I've got it lined up to get this thing out in the field and actually spend the day with this thing. We plan that ahead of time this year to make sure we're not scrambling to do it all the last day before the ground freezes up. So I'm just gonna have to take a day away out of the combine and kind of wrestle with this thing for a day. The second screen here is not necessary because I've got my main computer here, but there's so much information with this unit hooked to it it's nice to have two screens so I don't have to toggle back and forth to get my information. I've got one set of information up here and one set here. I'm not con constantly jumping back and forth between pages. There we go. I am double screened. Now I need to put in my tank cameras. I gotta get the screen in. I've got a Dakota Micro screen here with the cameras in the tank that hook up here. I've gotta mount my Wi-Fi box, my iPad controls. There's a lot to this monster. So. I just need to remember exactly where that camera screen is. Do you have any idea, Anna? None? You want this wrench? We're gonna check in here. There's this, I need that. Look at that. There's my camera screen. I swear that fog is half lifted in just the last 15 minutes. Put your hat on. Cute little hat. Camera screen, there we go. And the iPad mount for the blockage monitors. Where do I want that? Good enough for now. I can adjust it when I get in the field. Next up, we are gonna use this wet morning as an opportunity to look at getting some tillage going. So tillage piece number one, the chisel plow here. It is soaking wet inside that grass, so I'm not gonna walk in there, but I wanted to look at the points on it, see if we need to order any new points, they actually don't look that bad at all. Dad's gonna be out here in less than an hour, so when it dries up a little bit, we'll hook that to the four-wheel drive and get that ready to go. Well, I'm impatient. I'm gonna go get that tractor out of my own, hook it up and see what's in there for diesel. Get the chisel plow on it. Let's see which tractor, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It's the perfect opportunity to say eeny, meeny, minimo. Such an idiot. Oh, my banker is here. He's gonna interrupt my flow. Apparently, when you trade combines, they don't just give you that. You actually gotta sign papers and they expect you to pay them back over time, which is a bunch of crap if you ask me. But at least he knows it's harvest and he's coming to me. I don't have to go into town. This had to be an eight mile drive, that'd be, that'd be a bad deal. Distraction time is over. And dad rolled out here in the meantime, so now it's time to get back to work. Dad walks away and does his thing, I end up taking a phone call, and then, and then he steals my tractor. That's actually his tractor, but, but, but I was gonna hook it up. And again in the meantime, Jim shows up. Or he, maybe he just spent the night down here waiting until we were ready to hook the chisel plow up. You were here all night? Yeah, I got bed here. <laughs> down. There we go. Dinner. Got that clip at the top. It did break? Yeah. That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. Clip broke? Jack. Oh, uh, really?
Looking at our maintenance log here, we went through this tractor in April with that many engine hours on it. Well, it's got eight engine hours on it since we changed oil and filters. We ended up hooking this to the Mendeco to the, uh, the uh, vertical tillage piece this spring. Didn't really want to run that with as wet as the fields were, so the RT did the majority of the tillage this spring, especially on tracks. It just less compaction, less stirring of that dirt, so this, this tractor shouldn't need much. Jim's going to check the tires and the oil and filters on this tractor right now. Dad's got a couple things he wanted me to look at over here in the bin before we transfer some soybeans from one bin to another. First thing we got to do here is try and get the distributor changed, which is up there. It changes which leg the grain goes into. And it's stuck, again, per usual when you let it sit for any amount of time. Sounds like Jim is done with the tractor here already. Cucumbers are ripe. I hate checking tires. We have so many of them. Yep, front two are good. These two are good. Tires that are on the ground on the main frame are good, but this point is not. Oh, I can't get around the tires here, I'm stuck. So, this one's broken. It's supposed to look like that. He's got his hopes really high. <laughs> Main frame area should be done, and unfortunately, in this direction, unfortunately, in this direction, we can't unfold it, so I'm gonna spin it out and loop it around here. I hear Dad making some noise over here, the conveyor's running, so I'm gonna go check on him, see how things are going for him over here. He was doing some logistical stuff here before we start running grain from one bin to another. Well, I think it worked. Good. We got the corn cleaned out and went into the end GSI bin, so the first three are all shut and the GSI is open. So it went where it was supposed to. Went where it was supposed to. Good. Turns out Isla needs a hole on her project here. What is this thing? Um, I made it. Well, I know you made it. She wants a hole in it so she can hang it up. It's not gonna work, Isla. I think that's what you're gonna have to do because that's too brittle to drill. The combines are only a half mile south here, so we're gonna actually run out and check and see if they'll go now because it's pretty sunny and breezy, so they're, they're gonna go soon. Ooh, they're squishy at the bottom. Yeah. The pods are not snapping open on bottom. I thought they'd break easier than they do. Yeah. I was afraid we should have been here an hour ago. But... I wouldn't have gone an hour ago. No, I don't know if we go right now. <laughs> By the time we get fired up, I think we should try it. Yeah. Oh, they're squishy. They are. They picked up some moisture too. These are 16%. I think they're that wet? They don't crack at all. Oh, These are good thick beans. They, well, they're not super tall, but they branch out. Look how much they branch. Dogs. I got bad news, dogs. The beans are a little too, too wet. You don't care one little bit, do you? We're gonna look over our heads. There's always a few sections to replace and maybe fuel them up and it might be 40 minutes before we're going anyway. Those will dry fast now, so maybe in 40 minutes, everything will be ready. Check the oils first. I know my head should be good because last night we actually had to fix a piece of the sickle section. The sickle. And then we, we replaced a couple sections. I can't talk.
Good there. Good there. Oh, who is it? That was actually kind of an important one, so I had to sit down and take that. I got a few sections that look kind of like that, that are not great, but they're also not bad. And now I feel like this sun and wind has got to be drying stuff fast, so I don't really want to tear things apart. I just kind of want to get going. What you doing? You combine yet? Not yet. You want me to? Yeah, you can. We just replaced that and it went actually pretty good. I see that. Squeeze it in. I see that. Are you hopping in with me in the combine? Yeah. Okay. Got a homemade sandwich with you? It's not homemade. Oh, it's not? Push the green button on the bottom there. <laughs> push that one. Oh. I saw you in the night. And now push this one. The combine? Yep. And then hit that one. And then hit that one. This? Yep. Oh, you can see the beans sticking right there. You can. There's some stuck ones from yesterday, from last night. It's hauling diesel. Oh. So, like, you can drive it wherever you are? Yep, so that we always have gas for the combines. The biggest thing we want to look for here is this number right here, which we just broke in, so it hasn't actually adjusted correctly yet. We want to keep that for sure under 14 if we can. So once we get into it a little farther here, we'll see what we've got. If they get up over 14, 13 and a half, we don't want to take them to the elevator. If they get up over 15, they got to go in our bin, get some air on them for sure. Uh, and then we'll move them after they dry down. If they get up to 16, we got to wait an hour. are cab beans. They're up above our head now. Just a few of them that spilled over. I knew we were getting full. Hi, Isla, your ride is here. They've come to take you away. Is it your turn to ride with me? Hello! Uh, Rhiannon and I heard a clunk and we're thinking it was a rock but it didn't sound like it went through, so we're gonna jump out and dump the rock trap at the end. I'll have you do it. Okay. Because it's super dusty and itchy, and I don't want to be a part of that. So, you get to do it. You're my celebrity guest. Okay. It's dusty. It's so dusty. Rule number one when dumping the rock trap, always turn into the wind. The combine's gonna start honking, Rian, and it's okay. It is? Yeah, it's just gonna be mad. See? See, I predicted that. What are the odds? Okay, rock trap's pretty simple. All right, pull that lever forward. This one? Yep. Where did the rocks come from? They come from down, they'll fall out in here. Oh, you need some help? See any rocks? No. No? No rocks in the trap, Ryan. Nope. Well, whatever it was, it must have just eaten it up, spit it out the back in a million pieces. Okay. Like it did with that tile thing. The, the tile, tile, tile cage. Tile it did. There's the tile cage she was talking about. It wasn't on the tile pipe. It was sitting like five feet away, and we this machine, it. we did. We hit it. We ate it up. And we spit it out the back, in a and we had to pieces. search for pieces. Well now we've got a we've got a missing guard down here. Everything looks fine, we just need to bolt one on. Right there it's missing, huh? Yep. Oh we're missing whatever this piece is too. I'll go see if we have one of those in the cab. We got one! Luckily Jason threw everything we needed in the cab there, so we got one. There. These bolts are a little long, they might be for something else, but they're gonna work. Okay, back to work again. Dad, what lake is that over there? That is Weisel Lake. Well, here's the end of another field, and Dad has already moved up a mile this way, and we're only a mile from the farm, so we move to another field that's a mile from the farm. Jim's waiting. 2.0 is setting up the header cart. 
Onyx is over here. I'm riding in here. I'm gonna dump into a truck. Rhiannon's with me. As long as we're switching fields and the fuel tank is here, we're gonna go ahead and top it off also. We're at about a half a tank, so it isn't gonna take a ton. But it's still gonna take 200 gallons or so, so we'll shut her down for the moment. jump in with her brother. She want to ride with her brother? I don't know. Hopefully he's nice to her because I know he seems like a sweetheart on the videos but he can be a real butthole. The camera can't do that justice. I see a little girl bouncing around and an editor that brought me supper. Hi, Isla. Hi, I'm here to ride with you. You're gonna ride with me again? Yeah. All right, I'm back to my old passenger with a meatball dinner. Okay. How's your sandwich? I'm getting tired, Isla. Hey. You too. Here's the final corner of the evening. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, this is I don't know why, but it seemed like a long day. It's not the evening. It is definitely the evening. It's, it's late the, evening. It's not evening. What is it then? It's the middle of the night. Well, we're not quite there. Isla, I've worked to the middle of the night. And, and pass. Trust me, it's not the middle of the night. Yes, it is. No, it's not. If you were home, it's the morning. You'd be fighting us to say you didn't even want to go to bed. Hey, Dad. Yeah. What song am I singing? Is it Tupac? What's Tupac? All right, lead us home. So, are we all gonna go in that? No, I think we're gonna go in Grandpa's pickup. Oh! Kind of forgot we still had this in the shed, so we're gonna fold this up, get this out of the way. Honestly, only about another, probably day and a half of soybeans left. We had another good day here, so, we are going to be rolling on corn. I'm going to get the strip tiller out. Tillage is going in the next week. Everything's going to change. It's going to get a lot busier around here. The dryer's going to be moving. We're going to have everything going. So this next week here is when it gets really busy. There goes a cat that is not ours. That cat. Go ahead. Go out that door. Go. No, out that door. Out the other. No, not that. Oh, dang it. That door's open over there. I'm pointing. Go out that door. There you go. No, you, how smart of a cat. That was a very confused and nervous kitty cat. I've only ever seen that one one other time, walking through the backyard. Did you want to tell him good night? Thanks for watching. Oh, Anna would like to do it. Anna, hey, come tell him. Well, good night, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.